Okay, Hazel. <laughs> so um, at the end of this process, um, I put together three reflective questions for you, which, um, are you ready? You ready for mm -hmm. this? Okay, so number Ooh. one, Hazel, what is the main takeaway from our time together? And in parentheses, I wrote, what are your interests, where are your interests most lying right now in reflection? That directing is leadership. And if leadership is directing, that that means navigating through a place or a story or a piece or a piece of artwork or a creative process for the first time. Um, that's terrifying, uh, but it also means being the first to fail. It means being the only one you see while you're on the climb. It's, it's being the one who has to carry all the knowledge to make everything possible. And that means accepting a journey to mastering discomfort, I think. Through the discomfort of directing, I can still be clumsy and I can be immersive and I can envision the future, allow for loneliness, be the nine card of numerology, um, have an open hand, seek for an evolutionary process, inspire, commit to impact and make it about them. Like this idea of directing as leadership has been a profound piece of learning and accepting that I've been pleasantly like thrusted into this new territory as a director is like taking a call from the soul and answering to it. Um, and despite, you know, any challenges that could occur during the call that I take, I'm saying yes to myself and I'm remembering I can. And so the main takeaway from all of this time is remembering I can. You yeah. can do what you want, Hazel. You can do what you want. But also <laughs> I love, I love, love, love the way you've articulated that because for me, it's about um, not leaning on any other kind of idea of what directing is. It's about inventing your own process, you know? Um, number two, question. Mm -hmm. What are one or two things you want to focus on with regards to any stream of your practice we identified? Um, and and I here I sort of said use use the jamboard, lean on the jamboards to pull some things out. Um, there's two zones. One of them is like the individualized research zone, where you know going textbook, reading theories, methodologies um, about and by directors offer, and authors from around the world. Like that's very important to me. I wanna do like a visual study or a cross-referencing of different techniques and methodologies. If I can get to a point where I can see a director's work, what influences that, I think that would just be such a, such a, such a great thing for me to, to, to know. The other component to that would be seeking the less formal mentorships and, and the hands-on experience. So like, you know, the hands-on experience, even just watching more work, co-directing with others, like informal mentorships with, you know, one hour sessions with a variety of, of directors that I am aware of in the country and, and just um, being able to ask them questions. But I love both of those strategies moving forward. I think they're really great. I think they're things you can do very easily. They're not, do you know what I mean? These are both accessible to you right now. <laughs> okay, Hazel. So the last question is, uh, I asked you to look through our Google Doc, our dynamic Google Doc, and pull out three to five ideas, thoughts, clarifications, questions that you're going to take forward. What were the things that you were, you were pulling out of that doc? Well, the, the one thing that I think still remains to be a pretty topical question is whose story is it? The question popped up in our conversations early on. Um, I've had trouble nearing that subject. Whose story is this? Because I, I honestly felt unworthy to be a director of someone else's vision. I struggle with an unhealthy and or destructive usage of power. I am also uncovering ways that ways that story has been told even through like my cultural from my cultural background in, in like Filipino theater is all webbed in occasions and events, you know, so I'm carrying that with me. And I, yeah. I want to also 
learn about my 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 deep habits and mm-hmm. and really acknowledge that and and bring that along. I love that we got to touch on it early and now I'm left with even more to think about and more to like and feel like I can really attempt to answer it. Nice. That's beautiful. I love that. Okay, great. Those were my three questions. <laughs>